For money, it's the same as for time. You can use it in three ways. To waste it, to spend it, and to invest it. And uh, wasting money would probably be buying something that uh, doesn't add to your life in terms of like your happiness, but also doesn't add uh, to your life in terms of uh, your future. So investing would be something that will help your future self, mostly. Spending can be something that will give you happiness right now. And wasting is something that doesn't give you either. So uh, wasting money can be uh, buying something to impress someone else. So for example, buying some expensive clothes that won't make you happier, but will impress someone else. And this is also not an, not an investment. So it's a waste of money. Uh, to spend money, it's for example, to go on a vacation, to go on a trip. That's to spend money because you will probably feel happy, you will feel amazing, but it's not an investment for your future self. And investing money uh, can be in a million different ways. You can invest into a stock, into crypto, into whatever, or into a product that will also help your future self or even your current self. So uh, I wanted to mention a few of my investments that paid off big regarding uh, products that I got that are helping me in day-to-day -day life. So... Uh, people will tell you like if you even if you have a hundred dollars you can start investing and stuff like that I think that's bullshit once I invested into crypto uh, 500 dollars and it I just lost the money not all but I lost like 200 300 something like that and uh, I realized that without a lot of good knowledge and a little bit of luck or a little bit more of luck uh, it's a bad idea to invest in such stuff as crypto that is not really safe. You can invest in safer things, obviously, in like S&P 500, but the returns are really low. The return is like 9% a year on average or something like that. But then a recession comes and you lose like half of it. I think S&P is down like a lot in the past one or two years. So uh, I don't believe that if you have less than $100,000, you should think about investing into these things. Even later, maybe... Probably real estate can be a better investment, even though right now we are probably at the peak. So even right now you shouldn't invest into that. Right now is a really weird thing, uh, weird time to invest into pretty much anything because the market is very unstable. But I won't give any advice regarding that because I don't have a clue about it. What I do have a clue about is investing money into products that can help you with your business and your progress. So one investment can be a, a gym membership or buying a pull-up bar, or buying weights, uh, just to help you exercise. So that is one kind of invest investment that is really worth it. Also like supplements, just stuff like that. Buying better food uh, with more protein, stuff like that. Um, so some of the investments that I made were buying this phone that can help me uh, record with the rear camera while seeing my uh, preview on the screen, so the foldable from Samsung, so I can record myself in a pretty good quality with a few good microphones and also see uh, what you see right now on the screen. And also the phone is powerful enough that even if I needed to edit the video a little bit, I can do it on the phone and upload straight away. So that is something that helped me a lot with business and as well this phone has a huge screen that I can use for uh, writing a script for YouTube in Notion or something like that also and to just chat with my clients and to even have zoom calls on it because the cameras are so good and the phone has a big screen and I can even like have a zoom call with a client while having it in split screen so on the other half of the screen I have like a plan for the client so I can do it all simultaneously and uh, one of the latest invest investments that I made was actually getting a MacBook so uh, I got an M1 MacBook Air uh, to I be able to edit in Premiere Pro to just have this high value skill to get better at it as well as obviously uh, writing scripts and many other things that uh, are better do than on a laptop compared to a phone. So I believe that making such investments that are not massive like this phone was maybe $450 used, the laptop was maybe like uh, $700 used, something like that. So. It's basically just these investments that are a few hundred that can really, really be helpful for many, many different things. Like thanks to this phone and the previous phone that I had, I learned how to do proper videography, proper photography, how to edit videos on phone, stuff like that. Uh, thanks to the laptop, I can edit, learn how to edit in Premiere Pro and stuff like that on the laptop. So some of these skills are really valuable and 
you can get them basically by just in investing into the product and watching tutorials on YouTube. It's, it's as simple as that and through practice, obviously. So these products allow me to be the most productive self and to just uh, lower the resistance to doing work. Because if you have a sluggish phone, a sluggish PC, it's harder to actually be productive if it's lagging, crashing, whatever. So you want to have your workspace as... My camera just stopped recording because the storage was full, but basically it's just optimizing your workspace. So obviously, for example, right now, if uh, I had more storage on the phone, it wouldn't stop recording because the storage was full. Or I could just delete more stuff or move it to an external SSD if I had one. So making such investments can lower the resistance to actually doing more work because right now I needed to uh, stop recording to delete stuff and stuff like that even though the phone has 512 gigs. Uh, but yeah, uh, and it's the same for any other thing. So if a gym is far away, uh, and if it's too far away, you just don't want to go, you miss workouts because it's, you are too lazy to go there. Uh, a worthy investment would be just having a pull-up bar or something at your home that you can't uh, skip because it's right there. So you won't skip it because it's too far away. So obviously just lowering the resistance for stuff makes it much uh, harder to actually skip. So, but if you skill, still skip it, you still have a, a PC that's uh, powerful as fuck, you have an amazing iPhone that has amazing cameras and whatever, and you are still not taking action, then it's because of you, it's because of you itself. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just, uh, you can definitely, if you have some money saved up and you want to invest it into something that will help for your business or whatever, or for your working out journey, just do it. And yeah, guys, see you tomorrow.